What do you know about x-rays? We all know they are used to take pictures of your bones or to see the contents of your bag at the airport. But have you ever imagined that a very powerful source of x-rays could also help solve industrial problems and could help speed up your innovation process? Well, yes it can, and the ESRF does it. A wide range of techniques is open to industry at the ESRF. Dr. Elspeth Gordon, industrial liaison scientist, will give us an insight into macromolecular crystallography, also called MX. Structure biology plays a major role in drug discovery. Knowing the structure of a protein helps us understand the function. And if we have a structure of a drug target, we can use that as a framework for inhibitor design. Understanding the specificity and the mode of binding of an inhibitor to a protein is key to inhibitor design. The technique we use is macromolecular crystallography and by this technique we hope to um, reveal the structure of a protein and, by, and therefore understand its biological activity. Um, the first point that we need, or we need to crystallise the protein. Um, once we have crystals, we can um, carry out a diffraction experiment using x-rays. Then we can calculate an electron density map using phases, either calculated or determined experimentally. And once we have an electron density map, we can reinterpret that electron density map to give us a detailed atomic model of a protein or uh, other macromolecules, DNAs or inhibitors bound. Um, often proteins don't act in isolation, so more and more we're looking at complexes of proteins and proteins or proteins and DNA, proteins and inhibitors. And this these complexes become quite large and therefore um, they're quite difficult to resolve these structures. The synchrotrons have a very high intensity x-rays, so we can use smaller samples and we can also carry out much quicker data collections. So we have micro-focus beam lines where the sample size can be as low as 5 microns. We, can have, we have micro-beam aperture beam lines where we can actually change the beam size, so we can match the beam size to the sample size. We also have a, a Pilatus detector. All of the beam lines have very similar software and hardware so setups, so it's very easy to move from one beam line to another and carry out the experiment, being familiar with the software environment. We have very automated beam lines as well, which means that we actually, it's very easy to access the beam lines remotely. We can log on and everything's automatic, so you can actually run the experiment from your home lab. If you want to completely outsource your experiment, the ESRF offers a data collection services for both proteins and small molecule crystals and a complete structure determination platform. Let's take the case of quinolone antibiotic resistance. Now quinolone antibiotics have been used in the clinic for over 40 years and there are real problems now with bacterial resistance against these antibiotics. So we try to understand how this clinical resistance is occurring and the aim is to try and find a novel, in novel inhibitor for these bacteria. Quinolone antibiotics uh, stabilise double-strand DNA breaks in bacteria which, and that kills the bacteria. So to understand the molecular basis of the resistance, GlaxoSmithKline determined the structure of topoisomerase with the quinolone antibiotic bound to DNA. And we can see here how the antibiotic binds in two places on the DNA and in contact with the protein 
It's very closely associated with two residues which are often mutated in the clinical resistant phenotypes. Subsequently, they solve the structure of a DNA gyrase with DNA and a novel inhibitor bound, and this binds in the twofold position and is, doesn't interact at all with the residues highlighted as conveying clinical resistance. This ambitious project was only possible because we could use the highly automated screening facilities on the ESRF beamlines to screen many weakly diffracting crystals before we found the best crystal for the data collection. If you're interested to know more or to find out how the ESRF can help your business, please contact Dr. Edward Mitchell, our Business Development Manager, or visit our website 